The Ming Dynasty, the Qing took over China. The Ming general, Chen Chang Kung, fled to Taiwan, where he carried on the battle, mustering an army to lead against the Qing. In retaliation, the Qing sent out troops to capture him, dead or alive. You may get it. Everything's ready as you want. The army is ready to move out to march. Good. Very good. If we are able to defeat Cheng Cheng Kong this time, I will be most relieved. And you'll be suitably rewarded. Thank you, Lord. My lord, the generals are all outside. They're waiting for their orders. Since we're ready, let's go. <laughs> We've assembled a great army. Commander, I don't think Cheng Ching Kung will be able to match you. All right. <laughs> and all right? right. I'm confident this time you will return in triumph. That's right. Chung <laughs> <laughs> Ki Wei. Yes, my lord. You were born here. You know the coastline well. Uh, what do you think? Is an army of 100,000 strong good enough? Uh, do you think that I'll beat it? No. Huh? Are you saying that Cheng Cheng Kong's got more men? No. Cheng has just had a hard battle with the Dutch. He's had no time to reinforce his army yet. Then why do you say that I can't defeat him? Because it's not a question of troops. The people are on Cheng's side. You'll be going into hostile country. How dare you? Wait then. I haven't finished yet. Very well. Go on. Lord Tarn. Surely you know his men will fight, even if the marshal dies before the battle. What's that? Lock him up! Marshal died before battle commenced. We have no choice. You are going to have to assume the command. 
I order you to take over and attack. But I will be defeated. Hmm? Now the marshal is dead and his murderer has got away. The soldiers will have no heart for fighting. Is that so? If you want my opinion, we should capture the murderer first. That will give the troops the confidence to win. Hmm. All right. Give my permission to take over command. I don't need soldiers, sir. To get the killer, I only need the services of one man. Who? Captain of the Guard, Ka Yi Ki. <laughs> Long sweep. <laughs> you have to be the best fighter we've had in a long time. Uh, no one's ever on top for long in this life. Huh? Since your Kung Fu is so powerful, is there anyone who could beat you? There is Sun Sen in the north, and a man called Ching Kui in the south. Though they're young, they're both expert. And the man who assassinated the field marshal was Shun Ching Kui. Hmm. He is a very dangerous man. The field marshal was surrounded by bodyguards, but still they couldn't stop him. He's getting ready to go to Taiwan to join Chang. Changing, Chang Chang. Sir! Call all the company chiefs for a meeting. Sir! Kai Yi Ki. Yes, sir. Go, go straight away. See that all the roads are blockaded and the men on maximum alert. Chung Ching Kui mustn't escape. I have summoned you to me to keep you informed of the progress we are making into solving the murder of the marshal. Lord To is in charge. Joe Kulab is an excellent choice. He's just the man for the job. You came to see me last time. If I had listened to you then, about uncovering the traitors in the army, Lord Tao would not have been murdered. There's no need for you to blame yourself, but if Cheng sent someone to assassinate the marshal, why don't we pay him back the compliment? Well, what do you think? Hmm. Can you handle the job? I would like to try. Hmm. You're to carry this pendant with you. I wish you all success. Lord Ta is dead and his killer is still at large. But every coastal vessel has now been confined to port by Imperial order. And from information, we also know that Shung has reached Fukien and already attempted to get a sea passage to Taiwan. If Shung does get away from us this time, we can never hold up our heads again. And we'll be lucky if we're allowed to remain in service. His Imperial Majesty, 
has put me in charge. As the first step, you will all change your clothes. You will travel to Fokien disguised as civilians. If any of you come across Shung, kill him immediately. Don't hesitate. Brought us the head of Lord Tar. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. My friend, you are a brave man to penetrate an army and kill its commander, and then find your way back here. That needs a considerable degree of skill. Uh, your mission's a success. As soon as General Chang knows, you'll surely be promoted. <laughs> I don't care about a reward. I am Chinese, just so long as I am able to fight for the cause of my country. Then I'm a happy man. It is a duty of all of us. Nothing should stand in its way. Even if they send a whole army against me, I won't be deterred. I'm ready to give my life for my country. Hmm. My job was to kill Lord Ta. What happened to me didn't matter. But I survived. Since all ships are confined to port, and Qing soldiers are everywhere, my situation's desperate. I'm going to need your help if I'm to get back to Taiwan safely. What the head of Lord Tar? General Cheng must receive it soon. Hmm. We'll try our best. You're right, it is dangerous. You're no longer safe here. I will arrange for a sea passage to Taiwan for you. I've also heard the Qing have sent Lord Toku Lam out after you. He's already near here. He's given orders you're to be killed on sight. Huh. So, Toku Lam's come? Since Toku Lam's the best fighter that the Qings have got, killing him will do our cause good. My friend, Toku Lam is brilliant at Kung Fu, and he's not stupid either. I want to have a try. Be careful. It's my duty for my country. Hey, get up now. Get up. Is that all you do? Stuff yourself by day and sleep at night? Huh. Now get up and do some work. Come on, you just can't sleep. What would the master say? Don't you feel any shame at all? Come on, get up. Oh, what do you mean? Haven't I got a right to my food and sleep? Can't you leave him out alone? Oh, he sleep. My friend, you can't take it easy. Everybody's got to do some work around here. Aren't you ashamed? Hey, you'd better be more polite. Everybody here is a friend of Mr. Wen. Just like them, I'm a guest here. 
Are you really? Huh. Well, all of the other guests here happen to be famous kung fu fighters. They are each expert in their own particular field. What about you? Me? <laughs> I'm a magician. Magician? I can make a horse come out of thin air. Eh? If you can, you're a miserable little worm. Okay. Let's see, shall we? This guy's been staying in your house enjoying your hospitality, and now he beats me. I am sorry. I didn't know someone so important was staying here. If they've been rude to you, I'll apologize on their behalf. Master Wen, please think nothing of it. I'm not staying here as your guest. This man's the one you mean. Lucky he wasn't recognized by Lord Tar, or else he would be dead. <laughs> Nonetheless, allow me to apologize for their rudeness. Oh, I am still figuring how to make him into a horse. If I can't do it, I'll be a miserable worm. Master Wen, surely you should know <laughs> that no matter who a man is, no one should be allowed to call another person a miserable worm. I mean, it's just not nice. It's so rude. <laughs> Secret agent. His kung fu is equal of mine. General Shung, if he really is a Ching secret agent, then it could be dangerous for you. If I could penetrate their army and kill their field marshal, why should I be afraid of a spy? But what about you? You're the one who should take care. You've so many of your people here. They are all my friends. I can trust them. <sighs> I am confident they won't let me down. <laughs> uh, mister, have you come to stay the night or to gamble? Oh, do you really have a gambling saloon here? Father! I've won again. in here. <laughs> Mister, have you forgotten to place your bed? Oh. Three fives, banquet. Oh, yeah. uh, I won again. <laughs> uh, all right, that's all for today. Oh. 
Hey, did you see those dice? No, 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 no I didn't. Yeah. Did you see the dice? That's right. No, no, no. I didn't see well, them. Did. Yeah, I'd like to see you. Quite right. Oh, right. Oh, she's, quick. she's a beautiful yeah. woman, don't you think? Yeah, yeah really, really big. Yes, I know. Yeah. Maybe we can see her later. Yeah. Yeah. After that. <laughs> The dice were loaded. Oh, well, we're we're the Come on, we oh, 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 Where do you think you're going? You wouldn't try to skip out with that money? You wouldn't do that. Yes, mister? What can I do for you? Huh. Huh. I'm not asking for much. Just that you split it fairly. Seventy for me, thirty for you. Well, mister, I really appreciate. That money's hard to come by. All right. What do you suggest that we do? Any other favors? Jin Kuei has arrived. And right now he's staying at Wan's house. Shung Ching Kuei has gone. You better tell me. I don't know. died while I was a child. I had to work to stay alive. I tried singing, but it wasn't enough. I've never asked anybody to give me any help. I've had to learn to survive by stealing, lying, and cheating. Anything at all that will give me a living in this world. Mr. Shum, you shouldn't blame that man for trying to steal from me. I just cheated some old fools at the casino. All he wanted was cut of the proceeds. You mean you know who he is? I don't know. But he sure seems to handle himself well. Perhaps he's a well-known fighter. 
I think he's no ordinary guy. Mr. Shaw, I don't live very far from here. If it's all right with you, I'd like you to stay. You could teach me Kung Fu. Then no one could try to get the better of me. KK, I'm afraid I won't be able to stay. I've got some urgent business. Well, I only hope your business doesn't take too long. I hope to see you soon. Shunchen Kuei, you're under arrest. You're coming with me for a little talk to Lord Tone. Don't try to escape. You, Fu Fang? How dare you? I treated you like my own brother. Nobody's your brother anymore. Get him! I've been wrong. Please forgive me. Yeah. <laughs> 
What do you think you are doing attacking my officers? You are taking a grave risk. If a man can take on the best prize fighter in the Qing army, he must be a very brilliant fighter indeed. Do you think one day I might be a great fighter? There is no need for you to be so modest, Sun Sen. Oh. But I don't understand. Everybody says that Sun Sen has always wanted to challenge the fighter from the south. I never thought you'd let him go. <laughs> I never like fighting a man when he's down. Oh. A true hero, but rather foolhardy, because now I'm going to make you pay. <laughs> <laughs>
Sun Chen. So, we meet again. <laughs> what a pleasant coincidence. Young fellow, you're not bad. Your Kung Fu is good. And you're pretty smart. We need to have people like you on our side. <laughs> Such kind words from Lord To to a humble man is praise indeed. I must say I'm flattered. Most of the fighting gyms in the north have joined the Qing. But you're the only one from the north with such powerful kung fu. How would you like to work for me? <laughs> I've got used to wandering. Don't like being tied down. All right. <laughs> All right, then. I can't force you. I realize it's up to you. However... <laughs> I know you want Shung Chin Kuei. Actually, I'm after him, too. Good. Then you and I have a deal. It's from His Majesty. I've sent a secret agent on a special mission. She's a woman. She's wearing a special pendant. Inside it is my imperial seal. Whatever she should ask for, you're to give it. Long live, long live, long live the king. Chamberlain, you must be tired after your long journey. My lord, there's one thing His Majesty mentioned. I don't quite understand. What's that? Tell Tokulam to take good care of me. And then His Majesty made the sign. I don't understand what it's saying. Do you know what His Majesty means? Uh, I have some idea. It's my guess. It's something to do with payment for my services rendered. Huh. You're right there. The sign does refer to payment. Oh. 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 But His Majesty doesn't want anyone else except me to know what I uh. I guessed before, KK is really a spy. What are you doing here? I think you know where someone is. Who's that? Chung Chin Kuei. I don't know. Uh, some people saw you carrying a wounded man back here. That is why I've come here. Hey. You can search if you want to, but don't get in my way. Hey, where to go? I said, let her go. <laughs> you recovered very quickly. I should have guessed. I needn't have worried about you. What do you want? Well, now, I have something to tell you. Well, tell me. <laughs> but I don't want to tell you right now. Well, now you've come here. You may as well tell me. OK, if you want. But I think you're being foolish. What did you say? I said, I think you're a fool. Didn't you hear me the first time? Who the hell are you? If you don't come clean with what it is you want me to know, I'm not going to let you go from here. I don't care. 
If you want to fight, it's all right by me. We'll see who's better. I know now who you are. You must be Sun Sen. Hmm. I will meet you in three days' time at Chinling Valley. It's a deal. Brother Shun, this guy's good at Kung Fu. He's always giving us trouble. Are you sure he won't try to trick you? I'll be careful. <laughs>
arrange this meeting so you could trap me. Huh. I've never had the time to show you that I'm honest. I will settle this with only one of you, as you're both on the same side. Xiong <sighs> Jing Kui, you have shown such great daring in killing our field marshal. We know that you're a brave man. If you agree to work for the Qing, I think everything can be arranged. Dogu Lam, that's enough talk. There'll be no deal between us. You don't think you can defeat me, do you? Hey! I'll beat you down in less than 30 strokes. You are a very stubborn man. You should consider your situation. What use is it to be so loyal to the Ming? <laughs> You'll die in the end. Now let's see how brave a man you really are. <laughs> Keep a close eye on him. I'll have your heads if he escapes. Sir! <laughs> I have been ordered by the king to conduct a special mission. You've already received his orders. Hmm. If it's on his majesty's orders, I'll release him immediately. And if necessary, I will see that he has a safe escort. <laughs> Ah, 
realize that you've come a long way, but I'm afraid you're too late. That's right. Otherwise, if you escorted Chung Chung Kuei, the reward would be yours. I think that the Lord has some kind of plan. This business so far seems deceptively simple. Yeah, because last time, when Shung Ching Kuei met Sun Sen at Chin Ling Valley, if we'd wanted to, we could have captured Shung quite easily, you know. Mr. Sun Sen has turned up here as well. Hmm. That guy is always giving us trouble. I know that he's good at Kung Fu, because he's fought against the Ching. Oh, well, oh. don't you think we should kill him, then? Eh? Right, we're going to have to kill him. Lonzo! Shung Chin, Tin Tin. You two keep a close eye on Shung Ching Kuei and make sure he doesn't get harmed on his way from here. Sir! Uh. Hi, Yiki. How about those instructions that I gave you? My lord, from what we have heard, Kai Kei's the daughter of a Japanese, but she grew up in China. She has made her living on her wits. Somebody else said she's closely related to their royal family. But what she is doing here, nobody knows.
I can't sleep in case when I wake up, you're gone. Oh, come on, let's go back. Uh. Brother Shum, I know that Lord Toe is trying everything to locate you. I'm afraid if he catches us that we won't escape alive. Well, if he doesn't find me, I'll go looking for him. You must be patient, or you'll be in grave danger. Our country's struggling to survive. You're one of our best fighters. Our country needs you urgently to help drive out the Qing enemy forever. Togu Lam is the best fighter in China. If I manage to defeat him, it will be a great blow for freedom. But what happens if you should get killed? It'll be a great loss to freedom. You mustn't do anything rash. I don't care if I die in the attempt. What about me? All right. A ship will be arranged soon. And I'll take you with me. From His Majesty, I've sent a secret agent on a special mission. She's a woman. She's wearing a special pendant. Inside it is my imperial seal. Whatever she should ask for, you're to give it. following me. <laughs> Easy now. Don't be so concerned. Nobody's here. You're a stupid fool. Hmm. No one asked you to come, so why have you come here? What do you want? May you leave here immediately. You're trying to protect him. I think you want to marry him. You're right. I want him to live. We're leaving as soon as there's a ship. <laughs> you're the stupid fool, my dear. Don't you know what danger you're in? What do you say? <laughs> Aren't you on a mission? You should say it's completed first. Something. What's got into you? No use pretending. It's all over now. You're the only one close enough to Shung. Nobody else can carry out His Majesty's orders. But he never told me to do it. Are you sure about that? Then why don't you show me what's written inside the box? All right, so you've called my bluff. So what is it you want? Oh, I think I know what it is. What do I want? Don't you like me? <laughs> what do you think? Thank <laughs> you. 
Smells good. Good taste, too. You are fierce. Chung Ching Kuei, we are born and we die, but who knows what will happen in between. I have left for Tainan Mountain to fight with To Ku Lam. If I survive, I have decided to leave and return to the capital. I hope in future you and I will have the chance to meet again for a fight. But I found out KK is working for the Ching. She was on a special mission. The Qing were planning to send her to Taiwan to kill General Cheng. I decided to kill KK first. I hope that you'll leave here and go to Taiwan soon. And I'm sure that you'll do all you can to fight for China. I will be expecting news of your success. Passing through my territory. That makes you a trespasser. You know what happens to them. Now you stand there. Don't do something stupid. I needn't talk to you at all. But I'm asking you to listen to me. Come with me. Who are you? The captain of the royal guard, Ai Yi Ki. A chain meant die. Yeah. Ah. Hey! 
from off a dead body. <laughs> and where is it? <laughs> Feeding the dogs. Sunset, listen to me. There's no time to make jokes. You'd better tell me what's been going on and don't try to get away. <laughs> Togolam, you're a bit too high and mighty. You might have fooled Chung with that plan of yours, <laughs> but you could never have fooled me. You and KK, we're in cahoots. You've gone too far. You deliberately let Chung escape so that KK could help him and thus gain his friendship. And he would take her with him to Taiwan to kill General Cheng. <laughs> but finally, your luck has now run out. <laughs> good, good. You are clever, but not clever enough because now you will die. I came here because you don't scare me. A brave man. And if I should fail to kill you and you escape, then I vow to retire from fighting. Thank <laughs> you. 